Chad Simmons of Rivals.com here with five star 2019 offensive lineman. I should really say student athlete, man. Clay Webb. I mean, you're you're. I mean, not the normal, I would say, recruit in today's age of social media. I mean, I don't think you even have a cell phone sometimes. You don't do the Twitter stuff very seldom. Uh, you're just a different guy in a good way, I think. I mean, you're fun to cover, fun to be around. You have your own personality. You don't care what anybody else thinks about what you do, what you say, or how you do it. I remember last year at the Five Star Challenge, you laid over there in the corner. Other guys are playing Xbox, PlayStation, cell phones, probably Instagramming, and you're reading a book. Yes, I mean, you're, you're a different kind of guy that I like. You know, what, what's the last book that you've read? That's going to sound like really weird, but it was a book on ancient warfare in uh, Greece around the uh, uh, 100 B.C. Like, just, I don't know. I, I read a lot of history books, so I don't know. <laughs> is, is that your main thing, history? I mean, do you like the, what, what kind of, you know, sci-fi guy? What kind of books you like to read typically? I love science fiction, and uh, I love history. So when you're not reading books, I mean, we know you live in the weight room, you wrestle, you're a dominant football player. What, what are some other hobbies people don't know that you like to do, you know, outside of football and reading? Uh, I like Legos. Le Dude, I'm bringing to my house with my son. Right. My seven-year-old is a, a Lego fanatic. Oh, so you build stuff? I love them. It's like one of my favorite things to do. That's why I wanted to be an engineer. So if we invite you back to the Five Star Challenge, we can buy you like a big airplane Lego set. Have you build that for us at the right. Five Star Camp? Oh, yes, sir. Definitely. <laughs> That'd be awesome, man. That'd be awesome. Anything else besides doing Legos? Uh, I'm starting to kind of get into, like, running a lot more. I don't know why. It's just something fun I do every night now. Well, you dropped a lot of weight, you know, from I know wrestling played a big role in that as well from last year to now. You're like a different dude, obviously. You see the Wrestling State Championship shirt right there. Um, I've been told one of your favorite foods is Bojangles. Is that pretty accurate? Oh, yes, sir. It got me through the wrestling season. The little... Uh, <laughs> Ch uh, grilled chicken breasts. I had two of those every day for lunch. Now, you've lost a lot of weight. Did you always eat the grilled chicken breasts, or have you been like a chicken tender guy, more of a fried foods guy in the past? I would just get like two biscuits in the morning <laughs> and like some bow rounds or some other stuff like, for every other meal. <laughs> Jumped up there. <laughs> will, it, will it come into play? Does the college you choose have to have like a local Bojangles, you know, maybe a local Lego store? Oh, yes, sir, definitely. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Let's get into recruiting a little bit, man. You're a fun guy to cover. We know Alabama, Auburn, Georgia, Tennessee. I mean, everybody wants you for sure, but you have a few schools you're high on at this point. Let's just start with the in-state schools, Alabama and Auburn. Are they coming at you the same way? Do they have different pitches to you? How, how are they similar? How are they different? Uh, Auburn's more family oriented, and uh, they're like, "Hey, come here if you want to come with your your friends and your family." Like, it's like a family here, so like I know Kenny's there, and he loves it, like absolutely, like one hundred percent loves it because of that feeling. Uh, Alabama's more like, uh, I guess, business like, like, "Hey, come here if you want to win." You know, you'd be a good guy for us. We like you. Uh, you like us. So. Now I know you hang with some of those Bama commits. You mentioned Kenny Irons, obviously. I'm sorry, uh, KJ Britt came from Oxford. Uh, now at Auburn, I know your boys over at you know Hewitt Trustful on you pretty good. Paul Tyson just recently committed to Alabama. Pierce Quick been there for a year now, committed to Alabama. How, how much could those guys maybe help Bama's chances? You knowing those guys, uh, it helps a lot because I'd already know somebody, so I could uh, come to workouts knowing people like, and uh, it's just like all about relationships to me. I mean, let's go down the Saban tree now. I mean, Jeremy Pruitt now at Tennessee, Kirby Smart going into his third year at Georgia. I've asked guys just today, they tell me it's almost scary how similar Georgia is now to Alabama as far as the vibe, the way Kirby goes about the business. You see that as well? Yes, yeah, so I'm starting to see a little hints and glimmers of it when I went there earlier. I haven't been there recently. so. Well, what are some favorite things that keep Georgia in the mix for you? Uh, I like the uh, O-line coach a lot. Co yeah, Coach Pittman's done a you know, yes sir on the famous, famous things he does all the time on social media when he gets his guy on the offensive line. Let's close out with Tennessee. Jeremy Pruitt, uh, former D.C. at Alabama. He won big at Florida State as well. Did a good job at Georgia. People said he kind of took a lot of kind of under the radar, surprise visit to Knoxville. What was that first impression he and his staff made on you there? I enjoyed it. It felt uh, really warm. It felt like really warm, a warm welcome there, and uh, I really enjoyed talking to him. Yeah, I know you're not a man of very few words. You don't give a lot of hints about when you're going to commit, who you're going to commit to. But do you want to get things done before your senior year as far as recruiting? Do you want to take things to December, to signing day? Uh, yes, sir. I'm going to commit and sign in December. In December. So yes, you'll sir. commit and sign early signing period? Yes, sir. Any early favorites, like one, two top schools right now? Uh, no, sir. 
If there was, maybe he can build them in Legos and tell us down the road at a local Bojangles. Clay Webb, thanks so much for your time, man. Yes, Best of luck. Yes, sir. Thank you.